Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to bind dynamic data into radio button for helper using entity framework. And here we got the final output. And notice the data is binded dynamically from the database into this radio button for helper using entity framework. Let's check in the database table also. The table is a car and we have binded the column name car name which contains Ford, BMW, Jeep, Honda and Bucati. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new MVC application. Go to file, new project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC Radio Button Bind. Click OK. And from the ASP.NET templates, I'm selecting MVC. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding a adword.net entity model. I click the project name. Add adword.net entity data model. I'm selecting that one. The model name is car model. Click OK. And from the model contents, I'm selecting the first option. Click Next. I'm creating a new connection. The server name is user keys. After adding a SQL server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. I have selected test connection. It succeeded. OK. OK. And here we got the connection string and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. The connection string name is a sample db entities. Click next. And from the selected database, I'm expanding the database objects as well as dbo. I'm using the table car object. Click finish. And here we got the car data model is added into our project. Let's close this error list. Open Solution Explorer. Minimize its references folder. Now the next step, I'm adding a class in this models folder. Right click the models folder, add class. The class name is cars class, add. Now I'm creating a public properties in this class. Public list. I'm adding the table name which is car. Get car. Get and set properties. Public string car name get set. After adding the properties, open Solution Explorer. I'm creating a new controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers, add controller. I'm selecting MVC file controller empty, add. The controller name is car, add. And here we got our car controller also. The first thing in this car controller, I'm adding my project namespace using mvc bind.model so after that in this action result index method I'm adding the cars class class name cc is an object sample db sg is equals to new sample db entities which is my connection string name cc dot get car is equals to the get car is a public property this one list 
sg.cars.toolist method. In the return view, I'm adding the cc object. That's it, we have written the code in the controller. Now we need the index view page. But before creating index view page, we must build the project. Project um, build, build solution. And the build succeeded. Let's close this output message. Highlight the index, right click that one. Add view. The view name is index, a template empty without model. Click add. And here we got our index view page also. At model MVC the project name dot models folder dot our model class name is a cars class. After that I'm deleting this default header. I'm adding center tag H1 MVC how to bind data dynamically from database into radio button for helper h2 using entity framework horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding at for each loop creating a variable call in model dot get call at html dot radio button for x x dot I'm adding the property which is a card name copy this one paste here comma and the second parameter is the object value card dot car id at html dot label and this label helper takes the string expression car dot car name that's it we have done the complete coding part to bind the data from database into radio button for helper but before run this application the most important we need to change the controller name in the app.config file open solution explorer and expanding the app underscore start route config.cs open that one and notice here the controller is a default one which is home i'm deleting that one our controller name is a car just copy this one paste here and the action result page is the index only which is this one that's it Let's check the results. Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. Notice the data is binded dynamically from the database into this radio button for helper using entity framework. Let's check in the database table also. The table is a car and we have binded the column name car name which contains Ford, BMW, Honda and Bugatti. That's it.